Hi everyone! In this video, we will find the domain given a graph. Use the graph of the function to find its domain and range in interval notation. The domain are all of the x values and the range are all of the y values. So we're going to use this graph here looking at our x value from left to right to see where our graph has x values. So I'm going to start from left to right going as far left as I can, there's no interaction with the graph over here. But as soon as I hit right here, the graph starts. And then as I continue going to the right, because I'm looking at x values, my graph stops right here. So this domain, or the x values, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, from negative 9, and then it stops at 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the last time that we have any x values. I don't need to worry beyond that because there's no graph over here, so we don't need to worry. So the domain for all of the x values goes from negative 9 to 4. Now let's look at the endpoints. Because I have an open circle at negative 9, it means that I'm not including that negative 9. So I'll use a parenthesis. Again, when we get to the other endpoint of positive 4, there's another open circle, so I can't include 4. So again, we'll use another parenthesis. Now let's go ahead and look for the range. From bottom to top, we're going to start down here and move up. There's no graph all the way until we get to here. And now I start having some points on the graph in the y uh, values. And then I'm going to continue up. There's still points of the graph until I get to here. And that's the last time that we have any values of y. And we don't need to worry about any y values here because there's no graph beyond that point. So from bottom to top, going from this is negative 2, 1, 2, negative 2, up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is positive 5. So our range from lowest to highest goes from negative 2 to positive 5. And again, these are open circles, so I can't include the negative 2 or the positive 5. So I use parentheses, and we have now found the domain and the range of this graph in interval notation.